What's happening guys? My name is Chris Stanley, aka Cosplay Chris, aka Horror Effects Productions. I'm an Aussie geek hailing from beautiful Sydney, Australia. No, we do not ride kangaroos to work, and no, we do not have koalas in our backyard. Hockey dockey. <laughs> Well, um, what's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Cosplay Chris. I know I say very special episode each and every time. And I mean that because, let's face it, to me, you guys are very special. Um, and so much so today, or sorry, yesterday, at nearly midnight last night, I hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, before I go any further, I'm going to try and do this all in... One take, may God have mercy on us all. But yeah, thank fuck for jump cuts, because yeah, if I didn't do jump cuts every time with my videos, you guys would be there about an hour and a half. I stutter a lot, I do a lot of Bobby Boucher stuff. You know, my mama said, my mama said, my mama said. But anyway, like I said, I hit 100,000 subscribers last night and I'm still in shock trying to process it because honestly, I never thought I would get this far. I started this YouTube channel May 2nd. This month, May 2nd, was two years since I started Cosplay Chris. I'd watch people like, you know, Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman, The Flick Pick, um, Brick in the Yard Mold Supply, educational stuff with molding and casting stuff. And obviously the boys with their movie reviews and the comedy that they threw into it. And I just immersed myself in, in these videos. And I loved each and every second of it. And it's just a good way to escape. So I'm quite, I'm quite a nerve bag. I, I have, you know, a bit of anxiety, as most of us do. But you know, I let my thoughts get the better of me sometimes. And it was just a good way to zone out and watch these guys and just their passion, just how passionate they are. And I thought one day I wanted to do that. I wanted to showcase what I, what I do in terms of building stuff and my love for cosplay, my love for Batman, Nightmare on Elm Street all things superhero stuff, geek stuff, and really put out there that, you know, it's okay to be a geek. And, you know, it's so much more accepted these days. Um, you know, it's not the typical, stereotypical nerd that, you know, likes superheroes. It's cool to be a geek. Um, and also just every guy at one point in their life wants to be Batman. So I figured, look, if I can look back and like have the perfect bat suit, which I hope it's gonna be with this Batfleck and Nightmare Batfleck cosplay. And I'll be like, fucking nailed it. So I started Cosplay Chris. Um, this is, sorry, this is where I edit. This is, this is my room. Like just over there is where I film most of my videos where you guys see me talk absolute shit. But this is where I edit my videos. I've got Old Mate here. I've got Premium Former, Eddie. Um, but yeah, so I started off with Cosplay Chris with the regular logo, then upgraded to that logo. Um, and it just seems to have gone from strength to strength and this video is purely for you guys because without you guys I wouldn't be here today talking about this. I wouldn't be um, as happy as I am because I feel like I've um, evolved as a person. I've learned a lot because doing this type of stuff isn't easy. Uh, you leave yourself open to a lot of online trolls. As a lot of you know, as a lot of you have seen in the comments, and sometimes I let it get the better of me, but it, you don't give them oxygen. So it comes with the territory of putting yourself out there. Some days are a lot harder than others, but most days, and like I'm talking like 95% of the time, it's, it's fucking awesome. And it's because of you guys. I love what I do. This isn't a job. This isn't a job at all. I work out at the airport. I work with amazing people out at the airport, but that's a job. This is not a job. This is what I want to do. I love making things. I love explaining how to make things. Well, the way <laughs> I hope I explain it right, but I love showing you guys stuff and I love hearing the feedback and I love um, constructive feedback. I love constructive criticism because that makes me a much more better person because I learned something. And this is what it's all about, learning something. If I, I want to give back to you guys in terms of trying to educate you with stuff, whether it be, you know, Turning a Jack specific figure into that and 
you know, little things, you know, making his head like a lamp. So stuff like that. Um, I like to think that's where I differ from a lot of YouTube channels. And that's the thing you want to try and be unique in this community because there are a lot of channels that are the same and a lot of people riding on other people. So I wanted to try and do a bit of everything, be a jack of all trades and just do my own thing. So basically what I'm trying to say is as hard as it is, it does get hard some days, especially when you work full time, you gotta go, come home, make a video, edit it, get it ready, upload it. And it, it, it gets very stressful. And because I'm my own worst enemy and I criticize myself, like there's no tomorrow. And, and that's just, and I know this sounds snobbish, but this is true. That That's how an artist is. Like you just, you're never satisfied with your work. I'm actually satisfied with him. I'm actually hundred percent satisfied with him. First time in my life, ever been hundred percent satisfied with something that I've made or customized. But just from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you who clicked that subscribe button and listened to me um, and took the time out of your day to, to watch. And um, I hope, you know, you guys stick around. Um, I don't ever want to get to that stage where I lose my mojo. This, this is a warm up from where I've got to now, this is just a warm up. This is just the beginning. I'm just fucking getting started. Um, the good thing about doing this, and I was about to say job, but it's not a job, is it just gets your creative juices flowing and you come up with these ideas and whether you're customizing stuff or making something from scratch, you get your creative on and it's the best feeling in the world. And there's nothing better than having a cup of coffee, I've got my custom collectible. I'm like, this is perfect. This is just, that's... That's my meditation. And then it's even better to upload the video and hear all of your amazing feedback. And again, I just can't thank you enough. I honestly thought I would never get this far in terms of, you know, subscriber count. I thought I'd just level out and that was it. But I'd still keep going because it's not one of those things like, oh, I want to get to 100,000 subscribers. I want to get to a million subscribers. I do this because I love it. And because I love you guys. I love your feedback. I just, I love the way you interact. Some of you guys are so funny. I don't think you realize how funny some of you are. Some of the stuff that I read, I'm like doubled over laughing. So like that brightens up my day. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm fumbling my words a lot because this is all one take and it, it's, I'm still trying to process it, but it's just, it, it's, I'm feeling really good. And I just want to say thank you again. I came home this afternoon. <laughs> Mum and dad didn't say anything. I'm like, all right. Next minute, they walk in with streamers and a cake. And I've got the cake here. My mum my mom made this cake. You can see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, look, and that leads me to my next point. My parents, my, my parents, uh, damn, that's good. My parents are the absolute salt of the earth. You, you couldn't ask for better parents. We're a very creative family. My dad's quite academic, but me and my mum were very creative. But mum and dad have a business where they take our pet birds and rabbit around to nursing homes and it's like animal therapy. So they're just, they're the best people you could ever ask for to have as parents. And they've supported me since day one. Um, it's a very niche thing that I'm doing. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna be a doctor. I'm never gonna be a lawyer, I, you know rather have my ass rubbed with a brick, but that's because I'm not academic. You know, more power to the people that are doing that because that takes a lot of fucking work. But like I said, I'm, I'm creative, I'm not academic. So this is what I want to do. And they are, they've been behind me every step of the way. And it's just, thanks to them and my friends, I, I have, like my parents, I have the best possible friends I could ask for. Um, they're all academic. <laughs> they're very smart people. And it's like you guys with how funny you are. They don't know how smart they are. They, they don't give themselves enough credit, but they ask questions. They're intrigued. They're curious about what next video I'm doing, what next custom I'm doing. We've been friends since the start of high school, except my good friend, Alex, we've been friends since year five. So we've stuck together since we started high school, which was 2001. We're in 2016 now. So uh, look, we just get closer and closer. Um, so I want to thank my friends just for supporting me as well. My friends, my parents, um, and, and of course you guys, it's just an amazing feeling. Um, 
this this is just the beginning. There's this is a very big year. I've got a lot of stuff to announce. But yeah. Life was good. <laughs> um thank you very much for watching. Um and until next time geeks please always remember cosplayers do it best and you guys do it best.